Turkey's southern shore, washed by the blue waters of the Mediterranean, is nearly 1,600 kilometers long. Hemmed in by high mountains along much of its length, its fertile river valleys and floodplains produce valuable crops of cotton, sesame seeds, citrus fruits, vegetables, and tropical fruits such as bananas. Picturesque ruins of ancient cities are found all along the coast and on its islands. As are fine beaches perfect for swimming, sunning, and water sports. The climate is mild and pleasant from April through November, followed by winter rain. Marmaris is Turkey's most active yachting port and the starting point for many pleasure voyages along the delightful Turquoise coast. From Marmaris, a long finger of land stretches westward into the sea, serving as an informal dividing line between the Aegean Sea to the north and the Mediterranean to the south. Far out on this peninsula is Dacia, an idyllic little seaside town popular with yachters and beachgoers who want to escape the bustle of the larger resorts. At the very tip of the peninsula is Knidos, famed in ancient times for its statue of Aphrodite, sculpted by Praxiteles. Today, Knidos is a favorite stop for travelers arriving by boat who drop anchor in its perfect small cove for lunch, a swim, and a wander through the ruins. East along the coast is Fethiye, another popular yachting port. Known in ancient times as Telmesus, It boasts 2,500-year-old Lycian tombs scattered amidst its streets and carved into the sheer rock face rising behind the town. Just over the hills from Fethiye is Uludeniz, Turkey's Dead Sea, so named because of its calm waters. The long sandy beach here is simply perfect, drawing eager visitors from around the world. Continuing eastward, Patara has a fine cream-colored sand beach 18 kilometers long, and the ruins of the ancient city where St. Nicholas was born. Nearby, Kalkan and Kash are small resort towns situated on fine natural harbors, now dotted with pleasant open-air restaurants. Just east of Kash is the Kekova district. Kekova Island is covered with the ruins of an ancient city. Kalekyoy, most easily reached by boat, is a picture-perfect village nestled at the foot of a small castle. Uch Az, or Three Mouths, is the village where three rivers run together into the sea. Don't miss the chance to take a boat cruise among Kekova's coves and islands, peering into the clear water at submerged temples, columns, and marble streets. At Demre are the ruins of ancient Myra, the town in which St. Nicholas, later known as Father Christmas and Santa Claus, lived and worked in the 4th century. Myra has a fine stone theater and many classical tombs cut into the rock of a mountainside. A church in the town center holds the venerated remains of St. Nicholas. Phaselis is among the most beautiful natural spots along the entire Mediterranean coast. 
fragrant pine trees shade the shores of three perfect small bays which are tranquil today, though they were crowded with commerce in ancient times. The romantic ruins of a Roman aqueduct provide the perfect classical backdrop. North of Faselis, Khmer is a modern resort town with gleaming white hotels and a fine yacht harbor. Antalya is the turquoise coast major city with good beaches on its outskirts and a delightful historic old town of well-preserved Ottoman era houses and mansions. Many of these have been converted to inexpensive but comfortable pensions and guest houses. Others have become elegant, luxurious small inns and hotels. A short ride east of Antalya stands Aspendus, a major port city in the Roman period. Its 20,000 seat Roman theater is the best preserved in the Eastern Mediterranean and is still used regularly for shows and concerts. Sidae is a traditional village built among the ruins of a Hellenistic and Roman city, complete with a huge theater. On either side of the village, beaches of fine white sand extend for a kilometer. At the water's edge stand the gleaming marble columns of a classical temple of Apollo, said to be where Anthony and Cleopatra once met for a romantic tryst. Alanya is a town with a deep, long history. It is now the largest resort city on the eastern Mediterranean coast. A promontory at the city center is crowned by a huge medieval fortress enclosed by six kilometers of walls. Thousands of visitors arrive each year to enjoy an Alanya holiday. They head straight for the 22 kilometer long beach of fine sand that extends eastward from the city, truly a prime part of the beautiful turquoise coast.